They can do all the chores. Isn't that amazing? About half of the robots in the world are made in Japan. In today's video, let's take a look at the new fully functioning robot. Can they really do anything? Let's find out. Industrial robot sales worldwide reached $8.497 billion in 2011, with Japanese companies accounting for 50.2% of that total. In a broad sense, the global market for electronic packaging robots was over $13.369 billion, with Japanese companies accounting for 57.3% of that market. The second largest robot market worldwide in Japan, there is a very large market for robots, in addition to their creation and production. As of 2015, Japan was the second largest market in the world for the sales of robots due to the country's extensive network of cutting-edge companies that manufacture electronics and autos. In addition, Japan is the world leader in the importance of the robotic sector. Over a million industrial robot workers are employed in Japan. Japan predicts that number to increase over 1 million in the next 15 years, and by 2015, they anticipate robotic sales to be close to $70 billion. The robot industry has been influenced by Japanese robot culture. Japan's advancement as the world's most sophisticated robot nation can be attributed to its advanced technology as well as its culture's influence. Since the 1950s, Japan has produced a large number of robot-related comics, books, and animated films. Robots are more intelligent than people, but can they comprehend what it means to be human? By creating robot skin that gives them the ability to feel touch, scientists are advancing the position of robots on that continuum. At the moment, scientists are working on ways to make robots tactilely aware and, in some cases, capable of feeling pain. This technology is being developed quickly in response to the increase in automation. Approximately 3 million industrial robots exist in the world today. Oxford Economics predicts that 20 million human workers would have been replaced by robots globally by 2030. According to Allied Market Research, the cumulative annual growth rate CAGR, for industrial robots is predicted to be 9.4% through 2023. Increased robot empathy opens the door to additional useful uses. Both texture of a ground as well as the amount of pressure applied can both be determined by a sensing robot. Many robots can also recognize changes in temperature. Elizabeth Smeller, a professor in the Department of Engineering at the University of Maryland, cites a more compelling example despite the fact that those may sound like arcane senses. She suggested that standing back and sensing a touch would be helpful. Without this insight, a human employee could harbor prejudice toward their robot co-worker. One aspect of being human, which scientists are working to give robots, is awareness. While some characteristics, like a moral compass, appear to be off-boundaries, others, like compassion and comedy, seem to be fair game. Some believe that the best way to make robots is to give them the closest human experience possible. For instance, several researchers worldwide are working toward developing skin for robots. Researchers first used synthetic skin created by the Technical University of Munich last year. The synthetic skin's 1-inch diameter hexagon-shaped silicon cells can sense temperature, closeness, acceleration, and touch. The greatest organ in the human body is the skin, which is teeming with nerve endings that instantly report changes in temperature, pressure, and pain. Such artificial skin enables robots to detect their environment in much greater detail and with more sensitivity, according to John Yanis Aloimonos, a professor at the University of Maryland's Department of Computer Science. They can move safely thanks to this as well. Additionally, it improves their capacity to anticipate and prevent accidents while operating close to people. Although most people will benefit from the advent of artificial intelligence, according to experts, over the next 10 years, many people are worried about how these developments will change what it means to be human, to be productive, and to have free will. Digital existence is enhancing human potential while upending long-standing human activity. More than half of the world's population now uses code-driven systems, which presents both extraordinary potential and challenges that have never been seen before. Will people be better off than they are now as algorithm-driven artificial intelligence continues to spread? In a survey of experts conducted in the summer of 2018, 979 technology pioneers, inventors, developers, corporate and policy leaders, researchers and activists responded to this question. That work to artificial intelligence, according to experts, will increase human effectiveness while also posing a threat to human autonomy, agency, and skills. On a wide range of activities, including complicated decision-making, reasoning, and learning, 
Advanced analytics and pattern recognition, visual activity, speech recognition, and language translation, they discussed how computers might match or even surpass human intelligence and skills. They claimed that smart systems in cities, cars, buildings, and utilities, farms, and business operations would reduce costs, save lives, and provide people the chance to live more individualized lives. Many others centered their upbeat comments on healthcare coverage and the numerous potential uses of AI in patient diagnosis, in treatment, or in assisting seniors to enjoy fuller, happier lives. They were particularly excited about AI's potential to support extensive public health initiatives based on vast volumes of data that may be gathered in the upcoming years regarding anything from nutrition to individual genomes. These experts also forecasted that AI would facilitate long-expected reforms in official and informal education systems. Nevertheless, the majority of specialists, whether they are pessimistic or not, voiced worries about the long-term effects of these new instruments on the fundamental aspects of being a person. In this non-scientific poll, all residents were asked to explain whether they thought AI would make people better off or worse off. Many expressed grave concerns, and many also offered possible paths to resolution. The preceding table lists the key points they made on risks and solutions. According to NHK World in Japan, a robot with artificial intelligence has now been put to work to help solve traffic issues at Narita International Airport, which is close to Tokyo. The robot is around 1.2 meters high and has a modest vehicle-like form. The AI rapidly analyzes pictures obtained by its cameras. The robot can comprehend congestion fast and where it happens. When it notices long lines obstructing the way, it issues commands to maintain order. The robot also scans the area for any suspicious objects. When bags are left unattended for too long, it alerts the command center. We want to offer the best security and a secure environment in the world, says Yaigashi Akira of Narita International Airport, to increase security before the Olympic and Paralympic Games in Tokyo last year. The airport installed five robots with cameras. It has never before introduced an AI-powered robot to help with traffic congestion. An AI-powered surgical robot has been put to the test by clinical researchers at Nagoya City University in Japan to help with percutaneous nephrolithotomy, a minimally invasive treatment to remove big kidney stones. The procedure calls for a highly skilled surgeon and entails reaching the kidney through the skin. The automated needle targeting with X-ray and X robot was created by Singapore-based NDR Medical Technology, a medical firm. According to the manufacturer, the robot can help with needle insertion and can quickly determine needle aim from a single X-ray scan. The robot in the testing greatly facilitated the process. Through a procedure called percutaneous nephrolithotomy, PCNL, the kidney is accessed. The technique is difficult and failing to successfully provide such renal access can result in major complications, such as intestinal perforation, severe bleeding, and sepsis. As a result, before engaging in the procedure on a regular basis, surgeons must complete years of training. The Antex robot is made to help with the procedure and might even make it safer for a surgeon with less training to conduct. The robot employs artificial intelligence to evaluate a single X-ray image and then automate needle alignment in the system, which is meant to be used in conjunction with C-arm fluoroscopy. The surgeon can now concentrate on the depth of the insertion. In theory, the outcomes highlight the usefulness and safety of AI-powered robots in handling delicate surgical procedures. According to researcher Kazumi Taguchi, the ANTX streamlines a complex operation, like PCNL, making it easy for more clinicians to conduct it and helping more patients in the process. Being an AI-powered robotic device, this method may pave the way for automating comparable interventional surgeries that might cut the time of the surgery, relieve senior doctors of some of the burden, and possibly minimize the incidence of problems. Do you think a robot can trick us if he's a human or robot with all the new technologies coming our way? Do let us know what you think. Here is the end of this video. We will catch you in the next one.